Hello everyone and welcome back to Realism Overhaul Sandbox in Kerbal Space Program 1.12. In this video I'm going to test some abort modes for the Orion carrier plane and see if it can come back with its payload. This might not be possible, I don't know. And there are basically two abort modes, one would be return to launch site and the other would be uh, downrange if we can uh, if we end up getting over here somewhere, if we could turn into the Gulf Coast. Actually, from Tampico, this seems like a long way. Um, uh, from Boca Chica, that would be shorter, but trying to get to the Gulf Coast from here might be troublesome, but we'll see. Barksdale in Louisiana was supposed to be the goal. I don't have a runway there because I'm not going to uh, go through the trouble of actually putting something there unless I know that this can get to it. So, but first we'll try the return to launch site, in which case engines go out early. Uh, if engines go out late, we go to the Gulf Coast. And so we'll see. Can we recover the payload is the question. This is unwieldy. Uh, we will have to dump the propellant in the Mini Star in order for it to work out. Otherwise, it'll definitely be too heavy for the wings that we have available. Anyway, it'll be interesting to see. It's an experiment. So, ignition. And launch. Oh, this pause right here. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. It's interesting. And we'll say one engine goes out pretty early. I don't know whether it could continue on with that one engine out. It's possible that that would only jeopardize the recovery of the Mini Star. So the Mini Star would have to use all of its propellant to get the payload to orbit. But that I haven't checked yet. But okay, let's have another random engine go out. Well, now things are a little bit more troublesome, right? So the first thing we would want to do is dump the oxygen in the Mini Star. Which is most of its load. But there's no problem dumping oxygen into the atmosphere and you know, it's not got combust or anything. We also have to go around this way. This has got to be troublesome with Smart ASS though, because we have to go from roll 1A to roll 0, right, as you turn around. That's actually easier with KOS, it can understand that, if you script it properly. Hey, okay, around here, we go straight up. It's harder to deviate from prograde with all this on the back and all the aerodynamics until we get around here. That's way high. Okay, I, I didn't want to go that high. We need to we need to do that differently. Ah, uh, that sound. Oh well, let's just dump the volume and hope for the best. Okay, just keep that up there. All right, let's try it again. Ignition. Ah, oh, let's give that pause again. No matter what, we do want to get out over the gulf rather than, like, try to go straight up here. Okay, let's just cut another one. Don't even know which ones they are. Uh, well, they're, they're like that right now. Okay, so we should start dumping the Mini Star's oxygen. If you're wondering about... Oh, uh, no, I just didn't want the sound. I turned off the sound. Anyway. I really don't think it's a good idea to light the Mini Star's engines. It probably will torch stuff. Okay. Basically dumping fuel through the main engines now. 258 and 0. Let's see. Okay, that doesn't change anything. Alright, so we can flip around like that. Okay, well that's the oxygen gone. We could try and dump the... Oops. Try and dump the hydrogen. That will take forever. <laughs> uh, we can start. Uh, we should probably do that with the engines out. So like that. Let's dump the hydrogen. So there's no oxygen up here right now because we're in space and... There's no engine slit, so hopefully be safe to dump the hydrogen. Let's see, the engines that failed were actually that one and that one. I'll just keep the center engines on. 
probably depending on what fails, there will be different configurations for what we leave on. We're going down. Maybe we should have gone further out first. Okay, we've managed to dump all of the mini stars propellant. Bearing through all of that sound. We're heading sort of in the wrong direction right now though. But we have little to no control over that. Hopefully the remaining fuel in the engines will let us come around. But don't go below the vector though. Here, I'll use atmospheric autopilot. But... Oh, 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 oh no, oh. Okay, so that's a bit too harsh right there. We'll need to be more horizontal and less vertical, I think. Well, it wasn't gonna be easy. You know what, let's, uh, let's try for the Gulf Coast this time. I'm curious about that, and then we'll come back around to the return to launch site option. So this will be with a late bunch of engine failures. SAS on, throttle is up, and, or some failure on the mini star where they detect that it can't fire its engines, in which case, of course, it can't get to orbit. And and launch. I mean, technically, a bunch of engine failures on this really late probably won't hurt. We actually turn off four of the engines eventually, so it'd have to be something wrong with the Mini Star. It can't like prepare to separate and do its business. But we'll say it's engines going out here. Let's say a whole bunch. Just a bunch of engines. Well, now we have to divert, right? So how well can we divert to the Gulf Coast? And dumping the mini stars propellant. Oh, now it's quiet. Oh, trajectories is hard at work. Definitely don't want to get any higher. Trajectory looks promising at this point. I think I'm going to cut it there. We need some RCS propellant too. We're going sideways, look at that. So, we're slewing. Okay. Needs to roll over. Rolling with this thing is not easy. Okay, mini star oxygen dumped. Maybe I should keep more mass in the back. Maybe it's nose heavy after we dump everything. After all, we do have the payload up here. Center mass is probably around here ish. Oh, well. It might be even further back. It might be exactly where I put the engine mount. So having this payload in front might be troublesome. Center of mass when the body is empty, mind you, not when the body is full. We should be much closer to the Orion carrier plane's normal sort of situation right now when it comes down. Very horizontal, not quite so vertical. So hopefully it'll survive, but it does have this thing on its back. Oh, that looks like Louisiana to me in front there. That part's okay. So Barksdale is theoretically possible. There's also, uh, well, there are other air bases, but Barksdale sounded better, so. <laughs> I went with the, the sound of the name sounded cooler when you say it during uh, launch cast, that's all. Okay, please pull up this time. The fairings overheat.
Well, that's probably not a good thing for a potential payload. Well, I mean, it's always tough when the Orion carry plane comes down. <laughs> it's, uh... It's not an easy thing to bring it down safely. Uh, this gets all crazy. Alright. Um, we'll try the return to launch site version again. I don't think the downrange version is strictly necessary. It'd be a weird situation for it to have to do that. But maybe we can get a more moderate return to launch site. Might be good. Okay, SAS on, throttle is up, ignition. And launch. Okay, well, let's have some engines go out. We'll start dumping that oxygen. Uh, that's a lot of horizontal speed, so I think we can just go pitch up now. Up, oh, not, not 91. That'll complicate things. 258-0. Boosting back, as it were. That's probably sufficient there. Dumping the hydrogen now. Okay, surface velocity positive. It is a lot heavier like this than it normally re-enters at. And pretty sure the little mini star wings aren't helping at all. Much less the body lift on the mini star, such as it is. Well, we don't want the hydrogen catching fire with the plasma. We'll stop it at 60,000. That's the downside to being lower. We don't have time to dump all of that. Aw, oh, not the wings. Alright, I'm gonna conclude that trying to recover the Ryan carrier plane with the payload and the mini star is probably too much. Um, it looks like that is not actually doable. I think recovering the Ryan carrier plane on its own might be good, uh, but Let's, as a final thing, see if a few engines go out on the Ryan carrier plane, if the mini star can make orbit. With the payload that it currently has on top of it, which is a pretty heavy payload, too. It's possible that uh, the center mass is just too far forward with the payload as it is. It's, you know, fairly heavy. I think it's 40 tons. So, anyway, SAS on, throttle is up, ignition. Launch. Abort to orbit. At least for the payload. Oh, that thing is wiggling like crazy. I think... Oh, gosh. Uh, yeah, we've done too many weird physical things here. Physics is not happy with us after all the explosions, I think. Still wiggling out? It's still wiggling out. Okay, let's see some engines go out here. It's two. How much does that hurt us? Might not be the best trajectory for this situation. I might have wanted to go a little bit steeper. Okay, let's roll. Uh oh. Watch out for the pitch. Let's turn off those engines, but that doesn't leave us with many engines. Oh, the rollover may be a little bit fraught here. Oh, 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 oh. Got a bad balance right now. Because of the engines that went out. 
Okay, okay, okay. Whoa. So we had some additional problems with controls because the engines went out on the Orion carrier plane. Don't hit it, don't hit it, don't hit it, don't hit it. Oh! I took out an engine. Okay, well, um... I'll have to be more careful about which engines I, I uh, switch off after the fact. Obviously, the engine failures will do the same ones because obviously that's challenging. But uh, then I'll be more careful about which engines I shut down for the roll. And that's to maintain balance because otherwise the, the Orion Carrier Plane is getting lighter and the payload and the Mini Star are still the same mass, so the center of mass is shifting up towards the Mini Star. And so we need to turn off some engines to balance for that, but not too many. Say it's on, throttle is up. I'll just be more careful about what engines I manually switch off after the fact at, uh, at, for the roll. Oh, okay, we, we need to shut down engines. Gosh, I keep forgetting. As long as it's the same number, that's the most troublesome situation, because that means they're both on the same side. It's this one and this one. Which is rough, because those would be two that remain on in normal circumstances, while the bottom ones turn off. So, I'll just turn off two of the bottom ones, and I'll turn them off on this side, and see if that works better. Instead of turning off all bottom four. Also, I turned on the RCS last time and that did not seem to help anything at all. Definitely seemed to make things worse. In this circumstance, the Orion carrier plane would definitely not reach the Bahamas. That's not our main concern at this point. Okay, well, it's gonna go off control. So, can it get to orbit? Should be able to, but then again, uh, it's tight. It's tighter than that was indicating before. Uh, it was totally lying to us because it didn't understand the staging, you see. But actually, we have a lot of time to apwaps this, more than I expected. So it should be okay. Whether the mini star could come down afterwards, I don't know. That's, a, that's probably too little. Yep. With uh, two engines out on the Orion carrier plane, the payload can abort to orbit, but uh, I don't think we're getting the Mini Star back in this case. Uh, it, but I mean, maybe. All right. Well, hmm. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. One seventy-three. Okay. Well, fine. Um, we're not in a very standardish orbit. We'll say once around for the mini star. Normally it would hang out for a day. We really need to round out this orbit a bit. Oh, 235 now. Gets better and better. Well, without the payload it's certainly easier. But we'll just do once around in this case. And see if we just can make it. I'll try and initiate the Maystar re-entry script. Probably we won't be able to make the runway because we should wait a day. As you can see, our path is way below... Well, no, I mean, I'm looking at Cape Canaveral Garden. Well, maybe. I mean, Tempe goes somewhere there. So maybe it's possible, but it will have deviated somewhat. Okay, well it's getting a little bit wobbly at this point, and it's using a lot of pitch, otherwise we seem to be mostly on track. But yeah, it's pitching up quite a lot for some reason. I thought we had gotten this working without it 
having trouble. But then again, it's also leaning to one side because it sees that it's not quite lined up with 10 picos, so we will see. Well, we should be through the worst of it as we are passing Baja California and approaching the Gulf of California there. So we're getting over to Mexico. Can we get over to Tampico? The opposite coast is another thing. But overall, uh, that's just a matter of where we retro burn. And, you know, so I think the mini star we can say is recoverable even if the Orion carrier plane has two engines out and it can get its payload to orbit. So that abort to orbit seems to work in that case. Um, obviously, return to launch site or abort to Gulf Coast, not so much. <laughs> that's, that's probably not advisable, it looks like. At least not with the payload. The Orion carrier plane on its own could possibly do that. But not with the payload. As far as the Ryan carrier plane not reaching the Bahamas, if we had some location in Florida where it could land, then with two engines out, it could probably be recoverable in Florida. Well, I can't see Tampico yet, and we're getting a little bit low here. Yeah, still can't quite see Tampico. If we're off, then that's more because... I didn't wait the day that we're supposed to in order to line up back with Tampico. And it's had to take extra energy to try and get lined up with Tampico. So that's just my fault being impatient, I think. We're not far off, we're close. We're just not potentially close enough. I think I'll take control and try to glide a little bit more. Might as well ignite those while we can. I think Temp Tempe goes over here. Well, that's the end of that. Yep, we cannot get over there. Uh, not too far off, just needed to really just make sure to wait the day and line up properly with Tampico. Uh, but in general, we can say that the mini star would be recoverable while de delivering its payload to orbit, even if there's two engines out on the Orion carrier plane. So that's good. Let's see, 90 kilometers away right now. We're just targeting, I guess, the launch clamps there. Okay, brakes. Oh no! I applied the brakes too, too much, I think. Oh no. Oh, ah! <laughs> Everything has to explode in this episode. Fine, fine, be that way. I still hold to our conclusion that this could have been recoverable. Uh, the game's just being mean at this point. Anyway, so yes, we have our conclusion. Abort to orbit, fine. Uh, return to launch site or abort to Gulf Coast, not so fine. With that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.